Hello everybody, 112 Og here. This is my second attempt in trying to successfully mod Minecraft with Natural Disasters 1.3 underscore 01 beta client mod. Um, I just think I'm very unlucky right now. I'm doing fine with Linux, but I've kind of been a Linux native, so... <laughs> Windows is not my specialty. No offense to the creator of this mod. Anyhow, let's get started. First thing you want to do is make sure you update Minecraft to the most current version, which is right now, uh, Minecraft 1.2.5. So, logging in, downloading packages. As I have a fairly interesting internet speed. Um, yeah, so, as you download. You want to go online and download these three files. I'll put up links in the video description of each of the download sites. And this thing's a little slow, okay. And you can go and download them. So yes. So yeah, it works. Cool. So first thing, step two after you download all these files, you want to go to start and you type in percent app data percent. Once you get there, click on roaming or press enter. And whoop, other screen, okay. After that, you want to wedge your way from roaming to dot Minecraft. And then go to bin, go to Minecraft jar, and open it with 7-zip archive manager. 7-zip is a free archive app manager that you can download, or you can purchase WinRAR for like, uh, I don't know how much it is, but I prefer free stuff most of the time if I can. That's why I like Linux. So yes, so then after that, you want to open up Mod Loader, because you have to install this too, with 7-zip2. So, try that again. That's better. To mod Minecraft, it's very simple. You press on the file, and you highlight all, and you drag them from here into there. It will confirm file copy, and you copy it. And just like that, you're done. That was mod loader, so we'll get that out of the way. Mod loader, MP is another file that you need so you're gonna have to do the same here now before we close minecraft jar this is extremely important it'll guarantee that it does not work if you do not do this is you need to delete meta inf now server most of the time that's not a good file to delete i'm not a server modder so i don't know for sure but for a client delete it so remember delete meta inf it's vitally important after that, the instructions say, using Minecraft, you go back to .minecraft and you create, if you don't already have the folder, you create a folder called mods, and you just type it all in lowercase. And then, it's pretty straightforward after that, you take mb1.3 underscore zero, or underscore one, client, zip file, and just copy it. Don't extract it, just drag it in there, copy it, whatever you want to do. And, then it should work. And now, it's time to test. Um, wish me luck as I log in. Oh, I think I did, which I'm proud of myself. The best way I found testing is to create a new world and go and create it and see how it works. So we'll call it, nah, I don't know. Test, a classy name. It'll build the train, maybe. Da, 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 da. This is why I like Linux better, is because it makes my computer perform slightly faster than Windows. So, ooh, we have lag and wow. Okay, hold it. There's no way I can test. Okay, smooth line, manual, and there. That won't be playing with this game very much on this computer so no problem alright now this is how we know it works is if you scroll down to the bottom here you'll see a disaster spawner and just a little info on how to work it you just point to the sky you got your disaster and boom disaster is here oh and I press Q nice and I blowing up and voila you have a disaster Thanks for watching. Uh, oh, wow, this is getting out of control. Fly away. Fail. Fly away. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll post links in the description as I attempt to get out of here on how. There we go. Is that an Enderman? 
oh, there are glitches, okay, whoops, on uh, how to install this mod, or where to get the mod files, it's pretty straightforward, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, not with this computer, of course.